Today I'm excited to share with you one of my favorite mushrooms, if not my most favorite, hen of the woods or hen of the forest, also known as maitake mushrooms. That's Japanese for dancing mushrooms. These are fairly rare and hard to find. It's unlikely that you're going to find these at your supermarket. I ordered these online from Dark Tanyan and uh, unless you uh, forage yourself uh, or know of a specialty food market, you're probably going to have to find these online. But I'll tell you, it's definitely worth it. If you're looking for an unusual side dish or something that's going to be eye-catching, I think you don't have to look much further than this. Uh, these mushrooms are often found at the base of oak trees around the world. And they are, as I said before, one of the favorites and most prized mushrooms for foragers. And today we're going to show a couple of different ways to prepare these. So for this first preparation technique, which also happens to be my favorite, in addition to the mushrooms, you need a good frying pan. We need some olive oil, salt, a little bit of garlic. Feel free to peel and chop your own garlic if you prefer not to take the tube shortcut, and a nice heavy pot that we'll use later. Okay, first we put the pan on medium heat. Put a good amount of olive oil in there. A fair amount of garlic. Top it with a little bit of salt. And we're just gonna fry that garlic up for just a moment before we put the mushrooms on top. And just as the garlic starts to puff up, we put the mushrooms on top. I put a little bit of extra salt. And just a little bit of extra olive oil on top of the mushrooms. And what we're gonna do as these begin to cook down we're actually gonna take our heavy pot and we're gonna use it to weight it down. So to prevent the mushrooms from sticking, I'm gonna go ahead now and oil the bottom of that pot. We're gonna leave these on medium heat and let them fry for just a few minutes. These have been cooking for a little over five minutes and we're gonna turn them for the first time. And give it a little extra olive oil. I'm gonna give that just a minute or two before I put the heavy pot on top. Now, you take your heavy pot and you just rest it softly on top of the mushrooms. Don't apply too much pressure or the mushroom will break. Just give it a little bit to where it feels firm. Okay? And then we're gonna let it cook like this for just a couple more minutes. It's been a couple of minutes and I'm gonna come back and apply just a little bit more pressure. This is a process. Okay, these have been going for about five minutes. Now we're going to flip them again. Okay, now that we've flipped them, we go again. Again, you'll feel them a little softer this time. We can apply a little more pressure than before. Been about three or four more minutes. Time to flip it again. And with each succeeding turn, they get a little bit flatter and a little bit more steak-like. Now I'm pressing a little bit harder. Yeah, these are getting close. They look great. Okay, we are almost there. These look really good. These 
these look done to me, I'm gonna take them over and plate them right now. We're gonna go ahead and plate these. These are some of the most interesting mushrooms I have ever seen. And I really hope you try these because the taste is absolutely unique and out of this world. So as you're cooking these, remember how much they compress. You're starting off with something this large and it compresses down to something this thin. And this is how I would serve them in pieces about this big. This is my favorite way to do them. Again, they're very steaky. They uh, create a really interesting presentation, but there's another way. What you're gonna find is when you get a bag of these mushrooms, you're gonna get a bunch of loose pieces. These saute up really nicely and you can use those on a variety of different things. Um, we're gonna show you how to do that next. And just like last time, we're gonna go ahead and put it on medium heat to start. A little bit of olive oil of our garlic. If we're cooking less mushrooms, we've got less garlic, a little bit of salt, and we're gonna fry that up. Turn it up momentarily. All right, as the garlic starts to puff up a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and put the mushrooms in. I'm gonna turn that up to high. We're just gonna saute these. Okay, that looks perfect. I'm gonna kill the heat and go plate them. Let's plate these. Now for the smaller loose pieces, uh, these are great as a topping, again, maybe by themselves. Uh, I think they'd be fantastic on a flatbread or a wrap or uh, a variety of other things, maybe if they were chilled a little bit on top of a salad. So there you have my Taki mushrooms or hen of the forest or hen of the woods. Uh, I absolutely hope you try these. Uh, this is one of the most interesting uh, mushroom dishes that I've seen. And I think if you're looking to put something out that's original and eye-catching for the holidays, this is definitely something that you should consider. You're not gonna find them everywhere. You're probably gonna have to look online, but definitely, again, it is worth it. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd right now click like and subscribe, and please ring that bell so you don't miss out on future videos.